What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Robbie Ray, back with another Roland SPD SX Pro tutorial. Today, as you saw in the video, I'm using my pad as the main source of everything I'm playing, except for my acoustic kick that I'm using as my kick drum. So let me just break it down for what I got. So the bottom row in green are my drums. So I got a hi-hat. I have a clap with a reverb on it. And then I have a dry snare. That's the bottom row. Uh, in blue here, I have two melody notes, some uh, synth bells, and in purple is a cheeky little wobble. All right. And in my red up top here, I have three uh, synth chords that I also combine with a synth bass to give it a little low end. All right. So that's what I'm using here. All right. So one very important aspect of everything I'm doing is I'm using mute groups. So I have a whole video about this on my channel on using mute groups. Uh, it's pretty simple. I'm using two groups here. So the first one is for the pads up top. So when I hit a pad and I hit the next one, it's canceling out the sound so that they don't bleed into each other. Are uh, they very long synth pad sounds? So if they uh, if I didn't mute them, it would sound crazy. Now what I do is I go into the mute group. I have uh, my send for the top row, pads one, two, and three. In the send is group one, and also in the receive, they're group one. Now, you can notice when I hit the wobble, and then I hit that clap sound, the wobble stopped. That's because pad eight is sending on group two to pad four, the wobble, to stop whenever I hit that pad. All right, so two separate mute groups. Now, uh, let me just talk a little bit about um, the actual performance of it. So I chose a very simple beat. And I like to do this with my melodies where I hit on a 16th note in between the hi-hat or uh, on an eighth note with the hi-hat. So in this case, I'm going one and two and a three and four. One and two and a three and four. So I'm hitting on the of two and the and of three. With my chords, I'm just hitting on beat one every every whole note, every measure, right? And then uh, when you put it all together, it's something, you know. Right, and I'm just adding one little melody note at the end there every once in a while. And then uh, when I hit the wobble, I'm, I'm going into a different kind of groove. I'm going to a funkier groove with the dry snare. <laughs> And I hit that clap to kind of cut it off. All right, so uh, hopefully that gave you some ideas and some inspiration. I usually play the drums acoustically, and then I'll use the pad uh, for melodies or chords or loops. But I think it's a cool approach to use the drums on here, you know, if you want that electronic sound. All right, you know what to do. Please give me a like. Please subscribe. We're almost at 500 subs on this channel. We're trying to get to 1,000 so YouTube can pay me an annual revenue of $17. Please comment below. I always like to hear when this helps people. It's very nice to know that my videos are making an impact. So I have a bunch of videos on my channel um, explaining all the functions on the SPD SX Pro and in other approaches to using this device. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.